Hello, this is Justin Grover with Adobe Product Management, and I'm here to show you some of the features of the Segment Builder and Segment Management. What I'd like to do is show you how to organize uh, your segments so that they're easy to find and how to share them out with, the, with your organization so that you can, you can um, push insights out to different people. Um, I have here a really simple segment um, and that is, is simply visit number is greater than one, so this would represent return visitors to my site. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a name, uh, uh, we'll call it return visitors, and then uh, I, I can give it a description here, um, people who have visited more than once. Um, and giving, giving a, a segment a description really helps people who may not be as familiar with the data kind of understand what the segment is supposed to represent. Um, a lot of times we'll include uh, instructions on how to use the segment, where the segment should be used or shouldn't be used in the description, and that can be really helpful. Um, I can also give, a, give the segment a tag, and the tag will uh, allow me to filter down my list of segments um, really quickly so that I can find it. And I'll kind of show you how, where some of these things show up in the, in the interface. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now I'm back here in the in the freeform uh, in, with my freeform table in and the analysis workspace. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come up here and we'll show you how how you can find the segment. So here we, we we've done return visitors. So there we go. And now you can see that my segment is up there. And if I click on the little eye uh, up here, you'll see that the description shows up in there. Um, um, so it's so it's easy to easy for customer or for your users to um, to understand what it is for. And then if we go ahead and in the search and hit the pound key, and um, then we can see the different tags that we have here. So I can do the, I can do everything that's in the demo segments um, that we did. So I have two segments there and I can quickly filter those down. Um, in addition to being able to kind of uh, view and manage those from within the analysis workspace, um, we can also um, manage them from within the component manager. And so if we click on components over here and then go into segments, um, we'll go, we can go ahead and, and see all of the segments that we have uh, created. I can add a new one. If I select one, say this new visitor, I get a bunch of functions that we can do that we can use here. And so I can share this with different with different people um, within my uh, within my company. So I can share it with all of the all of the people who are part of the alliance group. And uh, then go ahead, and they will. That segment will then show up in their list of segments as they're as they're browsing through the different reports. Um, I can also come in here and I can approve a segment. So I can mark this as one that I have um, approved um, to the to everybody. Uh, I can mark it as approved, meaning it is it is um, sanctioned by uh, the organization and something that we would use quite often. Um, that. Uh, when you approve it, it's probably a good idea to actually share it with the entire organization so that everybody can use it if needed. Um, however, you don't have to do that. You can share it with individual groups. Um, finally, uh, when we go, when you uh, uh, share segments, um, those show up not only in the analysis workspace, but they also show up in reports and analytics. And so if I, I come into here, into reports analytics, I can see the uh, show segments, and now I have this this segment here that, that we had created earlier, and so that's that's available for anybody to use in, in the various places that uh, segments show up.